的人工智能的新一代的打工人。呃 ，Work S 二其实能够实现三分钟之内的自主换电。它通过我们的这个智能脑，呃，中枢的终端呢，它自己能够驱动自己在快没电的时候就去给自己去换一块电池。你三分钟换之后呢，它就能够迅速的返回工位去，呃，工作，进到工厂里面，能够实现二十四小时七天的我们叫做永不停机的新质生产力。全尺寸的通用人机器人，它的身高体重啊，对，那是更加接近于成年人的啊。那全身是有这个四十二个自由度，给它配备了我们相应的这样的一个矩阵大脑，它的核心的百分之九十的零部件都是我们自研的。这个四月底已经推出了量产，那目前我们已经有一两百个客户在共同跟我们推进这个机器人的这样的一个落地应用。And there will not be many humanoids working in car industry. No. Because they are too weak, they cannot carry 100 kilograms. They can carry 20 at most. But there will be other areas that will benefit from humanoids, where we have labor shortage, like,、um, for example, for elderly care. For example, humanoid、um, loses power and falls over. It it can harm you. And to prevent that,、um, the law says they only can move slowly. As long as there is people nearby, so to work on that, to be able to increase the productivity of humanoids while still collaborating with people, that's an ongoing thing. I think everybody now they have a, you know, a robot to clean the house, to clean the household. But I think for the more industrial use,、uh, there'll be more. The challenges is more on the ethic aspect. AI is、uh, quite commonly used. And、uh, there's a lot of scam around. So how are you produce a guideline to be more ethical、uh, using the robots, so that using the right way.